Welcome to Red 35. Zali is back and today we are going to do a COVID-19 special. Special edition. Special edition, yes. We are looking at one of the cheapest lenses you can get on the Micro Four Third platform. And this is the Per Gear 25mm 1.8. Cheap, cheap. How much is it then? Yes, before I do that, I need to take these off. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, oh, I can breathe in these things. You need to like look away and then breathe in, otherwise, yeah. they're gonna infect each other. <laughs> social, social distancing. Oh, yeah, one meter away, right? <laughs> anyway. Okay, well, yeah, we, we, we should be quite safe. We should yes, be quite safe. Yes. Yeah, we, we're young and healthy. We are sanitized as well. Yeah, we clean ourselves every mm, night. Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every anyway, we're talking about price. What are we talking about? Yes. Right. Okay. How so, much? so this lens is cheap. This, by the way, this the name of this brand is Per Gear. Uh, in fact, I probably haven't heard of them before until I was googling around. Like, can I find a cheap lens on the market? Mm -hmm. And this thing's kind of popped up. And then uh, it's sixty-eight dollar. <laughs> 68 dollar. That's how they advertised it. And uh, so that means that it's actually RRP. That's directly on their website. Mm -hmm. So that is cheap, you know. Yeah. I don't think I've seen a fully functional lens, you know, not not like the the Olympus uh, lens cap lens that we review, review before. That was like fifty dollars, I think. And then, but that is a plastic kind of toy thing. Mm. And this is a proper, proper metal glass lens. So uh, for sixty-eight dollars, is pretty cheap. pretty cheap. Mm. Cheap, 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 <laughs> cheap, cheap. Sorry, can you hold this for one second? Oh, why? I need to dig out all the specification for our lovely audience because they, they like numbers. They like numbers. Well, you're supposed to know, no? Uh, well, to be honest, I don't care, you know, <laughs> but I know some people do. And uh, all, I, all I want to know is whether the lens can perform or not, whether you know, it can produce beautiful images or not. That's, that's all you care about. That's all I care yeah. about. You know, numbers are secondary. Okay. Or actually, I can ignore it. <laughs> But anyway, so if you guys want to know, uh, here is the specification for this lens. You can actually find out all the information on the Per Gear website. We're going to put the link down in the description. This is a very simple lens, very simple. And by means of, it only has five elements and three groups. Mm. In, op in optical design, it's f it's, this is a very, very simple design. And in fact, one of our loyal um, uh, uh, subscribers and followers, mm. she always say that, you know, modern day lenses are way too complicated and she has every right to say it because, uh, <laughs> yeah, these days you find lenses are like 15 elements, 10 groups, and uh, you know, 18 elements in 12 groups. You know, they are very complicated. I don't want to go into too details, but basically they just got a lot of different lenses in between. Right. And it does affect the image quality. So simple design usually means better quality mm. in simple terms. Mm. But obviously things can change depending on what sort of elements you use inside the lens, they also change. So let's go through the rest of the specification. So this is 1.8 aperture, which is really good for the subject separation you can get bokeh behind you know right. everything so Hello. it's really nice and stop down to f16 it has 12 aperture blade which is good for starry thingy for the landscape for the lens yeah you know this lights kind of shine through thing yeah. uh, don't ask me i'm not a landscape photographer it's a fully metal built lightweight at 195 grams so uh wow. it's, it's pretty light not as light as lawa that we reviewed last time and uh, but 195 is definitely light mm. definitely light um it's obviously a 25 millimeters focal length like we mentioned before so it's a standard lens on a micro four third platform equivalent of a 50 millimeters in full frame terms it has an angle of view of 57.4 degree 
and close focusing distance is 20 centimeters. So exactly, that's what I want. Let's forget <laughs> it, man. That's, that's what I don't like to do this sort of thing. But anyway, enough information for all the enough, camera enough. geeks out there. So uh, it's, it is what it is. So let's, let's get some photos done now. Let's, uh, let's see how this lens actually performs. Yeah, that's the most important part, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Let's move on to that. I know the story of your life Through winter storms and summer skies There was a time when you were young and free So let's go back To the ditches where I always make you laugh To the forest where we found a hidden path To the summertime of So, I think I'm pleasantly surprised about the image quality. Yeah. Um, it's very sharp. But that is no surprising because uh, like any camera lens system, whether it's APS-C, full frame, micro four third, standard lens is usually one of the easiest thing optically to design. Mm. So, uh, so it's not surprising that um, this lens performs well, just like any 25 millimeters on the micro four third system you know it really can't go wrong with them because they are just so simple uh, so it, in terms of image quality like you saw the images is sharp it's really sharp edge to edge I was shooting wide open at 1.8 and also like in terms of optically uh, a lot of lenses when you open up the aperture like, to to maximum mm. and then uh, you you will lose a little bit of quality at the edges and this one seems to be holding up quite well and then uh, and like this shot that I showed you you know like this is right on the edge of the frame. Yeah. And uh, you, you can see all your eyelashes and everything is actually very sharp. So it, it's actually surprisingly good and well behaved, I would say, you know, in terms of like shooting a little bit back, a little bit. Uh, I couldn't quite see fringing going on. Mm. Just a tiny, tiny little bit, but there's nothing you cannot fix in post. So it's, it's pretty good. Pretty good for $68 lens. Mm. Okay, yes, build quality, yes. build quality, yes. And this lens is actually surprisingly good because it's fully metal built, okay. which is interesting because 195 gram of metal is in this tiny little thing. Now let me show it to you, like hold it for a second. Oh, can I, can I, may I? Yes, you can, okay, yes, you okay. can, yes. I'm sanitized, so. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you can feel the weight. Mm. So like uh, it's not heavy, heavy, yeah. but for such a tiny thing, you can like it's definitely a little bit weight to it. Mm. But in terms of build quality, I think it's very good. The focusing ring, you can turn the front ring. It's actually very smooth, smooth yeah. very smooth. And uh, the focusing ring, which is the back ring, you can also turn it. Yeah, it's actually quite smooth as well. It's stiffer, mm. but I wouldn't call it like stiff to a point that you can't turn it. But it's good for aperture ring because you don't want to accidentally change the aperture, which means your exposure will be completely messed up, especially during video times yeah. and so let's mount it back onto the camera because they can see the size of it and uh, this thing is really small and I do like it for especially for Michael Four Third you know like Michael Four Third is a small system mm -hmm. and having a small lens always means that it's, it's good portable you know things like that is really really nice um, but build quality wise it's actually very very uh, I'm genuinely quite surprised you know for $68 I don't know how they make that thing <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, no, no, how come they can make it so? Nothing to complain. So, but I, I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how they make that thing for sixty-eight dollars and still make a profit out of it. So now let's talk a little bit about handling, because I always talk about handling, especially on a small system like the Olympus or Micro Four Third in general. Uh, being a Micro Four Third system means, means it's small and lightweight, and having a small and lightweight lens is, of course, 
very good. Yeah. And I'm happy to say that being 195 gram, you know, that's quite light. Quite light, and you can have a feel of it. You know, like um, so even like for lady like yourself, you know, like holding a relatively heavy Michael Forther camera. This is a M1 Mark III, so there are lighter camera bodies out there. But with this lens on, you don't feel it is being like too heavy and things like that. Really, it's not damaging my wrist. No, no, especially my yeah, that that's very important because like if you have a bigger lens or heavier lens, which means that you're gonna tilt forward yeah. and you have to constantly trying to adjust, putting a lot of stress to your wrist. If you're only photographing one or two photos or you know 10 minutes at a time you may not feel it yeah it's gonna damage your wrist in long term yeah if you yeah. like use it for like hours at a time mm -hmm. if you're enthusiast or filming and things like that you know yeah. this is good mm -hmm. so I think handling wise very good very good so very would you good recommend uh, oh yes I would definitely recommend this lens once again, I would say and remind you that this is a menu focusing lens. So uh, for filmmakers, this is not a problem because most of the filmmakers would use menu focus anyway. Okay. Uh, but for photographers, unless you are very proficient or very effective at using menu focus, uh, there are many aids now in the uh, in the Olympus body like focus peaking, magnify, so it will get you the shot really, really quickly and accurately. But for people who may be afraid of menu focusing or very used to autofocus you're probably better off using an autofocus lens wow. but I guess for the price $68 you know I really can't argue much with the $68 mm -hmm. so uh, pretty good and one thing actually I do forget to mention I got, when I got this lens one thing that wasn't come into the box was the hood there's, there's supposed to be a metal hood that comes with it oh. but uh, my box hasn't got one so uh, uh, is it just you it's probably just me, so I'm, I'm the unfortunate one that hasn't got a hood on it. But but for sixty eight dollar, you got a lens, mm -hmm. you got uh, the metal hood, okay. and you also get a li little lens pouch as well, which is actually a very value for money. Because mm -hmm. the hood itself could easily cost you like ten pound on Amazon. Oh. So uh, so that that is it includes the yeah that in the includes the includes the thing as well. So it's that's good. Yeah, very good. No complaint. Then. No complaint. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and yes, thanks once again, Sally, for coming back. And thank arigato. Arigato. Yeah, and uh, if you guys first time here, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and put on the bell notification so yeah, you stay notified when we have a new video coming. And if you want Sally to come back, remember to, yes, do this as well. And uh, yeah, time to put it back. Okay. Time to put it back so we can stay protected. Yep. Yes, that's Cover it. Cover all the way. Yeah. Cover all the way. You guys stay safe and yeah, hope to see you guys nice and healthy very very soon take care ciao ciao happy for that 68 dollars okay yeah i could use for a burger burger <laughs> Built quality. <laughs> How awkward. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Built quality is what we're going to talk about now. And for that, I think is surprisingly good. Because this thing is 190 gri. <laughs> my take on this lens art what i'm saying i don't have a clue what i'm talking about Excellent. yes mm -hmm. ah, what do i say <laughs> when <laughs> i thought you don't have to go by your channel huh